How come nobody questions the fact that the English language implicitly assumes that time can be quantified the same as length? We'll say that things can take a long time or a short time the same way a rope can be long or short, but that's not true across all languages. In Spanish, for example, it'd be weird to use the phrases largo tiempo or corto tiempo. Rather, they'll describe a stretch of time as either a lot or a little, which instead draws on the metaphor of time having volume. Greek will do the same thing. Their phrase for a long time draws on the same word used to describe a container as full, and this sort of difference really seems to affect how we perceive the passage of time in the first place. Like, they did several studies where they asked participants to watch a line grow in length and then estimate how much time had elapsed. And English speakers always mess it up more because we conflate time and length. Meanwhile, when the experiment was repeated with liquid being poured into a container, it was harder for Greek and Spanish speakers to judge the distinction. At the same time, studies on young children show that they're equally good at both tasks, implying that we start out without much of a distinction, but then as we use the linguistic metaphors more and more, they get increasingly ingrained into our thought process. Of course, both models are still inconsistent with our scientific understanding of time, which is that it's fused into the fabric of space itself. And this can also limit our understanding. When we use time as a measure of distance but not distance as a measure of time, it's inaccurate to representing the universe as it really exists.